Hakobina, next question. What is your attitude towards prostitution? That's a very complicated one. I wouldn't practice it. I got the offer when I was living in Mexico to be part of one organization that it was based, it, it, an escort organization. Uh, that was a lot of money, but uh, I wouldn't do it because it's not with my beliefs regarding uh, how sex work by itself. Um, whoever feels free to do it by free will, I think it's completely uh, like it's a job like any other job that it should be protected by the laws. However, the reality is that a lot of almost the majority I'll say of, of persons that are into prostitution is not because of their own will. They are either sex slaves that they have been kidnapped from somewhere and they are raped every day or they arrive to the they, they reach that situation because of the circumstances of for, for example poverty. Uh, during the pandemic, at least in Latin America, a lot of women they lost their job, they lost their income, almost all of them they were alone with their children, like no father uh, who could help with the with, with the income and they needed to go they needed to take that, that option, the prostitution. And in a very sexist country as Mexico could be, that is also a very dangerous profession. So whoever is doing by their own, uh, their own will, I all my respect, because I think it's a very complicated job to do. But um, I, I wouldn't say I agree with it because I also know the other part of the story. These million of women that are sex slaves just to that are that are being used as objects for the male pleasure. So I'm that that's the the dark part that we that a lot of people know, just don't wanna see it, that I'm not agree with. And it is a popular uh, profession in Latin America, yeah? It is popular because of the circumstances. No. There is a lot of poverty. Imagine in the middle of the pandemic in Mexico. Because I, I, uh, I try to assist as much as possible to some orgs that I, um, that I follow there in Mexico to, to do something that I understand my privilege being living here in Europe and I want to use that privilege to do something, whatever, but something. And for example, in this case, I was following a lot of cases in, in Latin America that there were one uh, single mother, I don't like to use the term single mother because I don't think being a mother requires to have a civil estate, but I think for general understanding, single mother works. Um, so almost all the cases were single mother living already in very complicated situations, having two jobs with two children. And suddenly the schools close. So you have two children in your place, very complicated situation already and it's a, it's a very small place in the middle of a complicated neighborhood that it, it could be very dangerous not just for your children but for yourself and then you lose your job so you have all these circumstances you do not have any governmental assistance you're basically alone in the world and you need to feed your children what do you do was uh, people think that that will be the easiest option to go like okay i'll i'll go to prostitution then but i don't think it's that easy like i got the offer uh when i when i started like seeing 
what were, will be the stages to pass through, because of course there are like filters. It's like, this is not for me. I, I, I wouldn't, I, I don't know how to manage that someone that I might disgust is touching me or wants to be inside of me. Like, like that, for me, that's terrifying. And I understand that for a lot of women, that's also terrifying as well, because that implies a lot of violence, a lot of uh, vulnerability from their part. And I don't think it's a, it will be in this situation, like a will, like a free will decision. It's more like all the circumstances just took you there to feed your children. And that's why and I disagree. In, but I think that as a, as a society, we should we shouldn't have these cases like in any human level. Like that, the dignity will be at least that basic level that nobody needs to use their own body against their own will to feed their children. Absolutely. What did you feel? Do you remember your uh, f first? first uh, thoughts when uh, you were offered to the, the money. involved in uh, prostitution? The money. the money. It was a lot of money. It was... How much? That was more than, than 10 years ago, I'll say 12 years ago. I was 18, I'm 30. And I was just starting the university in another city, in Mexico City, that's a 25 million people city. And they, by then, 12 years ago, they were offering me per month 1,500 euros. So that was per month and uh, I needed to, to have a certain amount of customers, let, let's say, so um, per, per month. Also, and this was, they were trying to, like all this process of selection, they were taking them from the universities because what they wanted was not just a person who will be like a um, sex worker, but more like a company person that could be able to talk about certain uh, specific topics, more like a geisha, I'll say. That it's, it's not just related to sex, but it's related to other entertainment uh, stuff, like being able to, to talk about certain stuff, certain academic stuff. So I was just arriving there, uh, having a job to, to try to, uh, to pay the bills. And then they come and they offer you this amount of money per month. That's way more than I could ever have with two or three jobs in Mexico City. And it was very... I, at the beginning, I was like, yes, I'll do it. You know, I, I didn't even think about it. I was like, yes, the money, I'll do it. And I just started like thinking about what I could do with all that money. And then I talked with a friend and I told him like, well, this is what is happening. And he said like, be very careful with that very very careful because that means that they own you so they will they might give you that money but that means that you will have sex with some persons that you might not like or they might have like a lot of violence against you so this this is not easy money this will be perhaps the most complicated money that you will ever had so that opened my eyes and Whenever, because of course I got like some interviews and that was just before like the final test and the final test was having sex with the person who was managing this place because that's the way they rank you. So this is the guy that will say that if you are good enough, if you are not good enough, so you need to be the star with him, you know. And this guy was like a 75 years old guy. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not doing that, you know, <laughs> because of course, a lot of people think like, I'm, I'm a person who really enjoys sex. 
but I enjoy sex with the person I want to enjoy sex with, right? Not with the person that is paying a lot of um, a lot of money and you have to have sex with them. So yeah, that, that's what I didn't take that, that option. And I'm happy from that, uh, that decision. Yeah. So <clears throat> don't you think that everybody who pays you owes you? Like um, um, boss? I don't think so. Um, for example, my boss is a very rational and understanding person. So I don't see myself as an object. And I think, but I understand from where it's coming from because I think one of the symptoms of capitalism is the, the, the humanization of the other, seeing the other as an object. For example, waitresses. So some people feel entitled to trade uh, very bad to any person who is providing you with a service. And I think that that's a very bad uh, attitude against humanity itself and it's actually one of the filters that I use for people. For me, I need to see how people be uh, behave with the person who is below them, like economically speaking or maybe um, a certain hierarchy in their job. Uh, how they treat like persons in, in a restaurant, for example. How you treat somebody that is providing you with a service and how they treat you when they are drunk or not sober. Like for me, it's some of the most important filters because that could, when you analyze those, you could understand a lot about how that person, um, be, like the behavior of that person in general life. Yeah, absolutely.